Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com. Today I'm bringing you a quick overview and installation of the Roush Cold Air Intake Kit fitting all 2015 and newer 3.5 liter EcoBoost F-150s. So in this video, we'll be going over the functionality and benefits you can expect from the Roush Cold Air Intake Kit we have here, as well as all the materials and construction since they kind of go hand in hand. Now I'll top the video off with the installation, which I'll let you know up front here will be one of the easier mods you can do to your EcoBoost engine, so it will get a very easy one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. The Roush Cold Air Intake Kit will be for any 2015 or newer 3.5 liter EcoBoost F-150 owner who might be looking to swap out their factory airbox to pick up an upgrade to give you a better airflow leading to a better throttle response with something that is a very well known brand, 50 state legal, while all reaping the benefits without a custom tune. Now everything you see on the table with me today, as well as all the clamps and hardware that will be included in the kit that you don't see here, will all be a higher quality material and construction as compared to the factory stock airbox. Now with that said, this is going to be a better ABS plastic with a textured finish. The Roush filter is really the star of the show, however, I'll touch on the materials and construction of that later, but it is worlds better than the factory option and it's washable and reusable, huge plus there. Moving on to the airbox itself, this is something that will keep all the dust particles out and the heat out, making sure this is pulling in cold air from the outside. And everything else in between is also going to be a big upgrade. I'll touch on everything a little bit later. But I do want to point out, again, this is something that does not require a tune or a custom tune, I should say, in order to work properly. There's a huge bonus there. And a big Roush name is definitely something that a lot of people will be after with the aftermarket world to replace a stock option. Speaking of no tune required, since your 3.5 liter EcoBoost utilizes a speed density meter instead of the mass airflow, it can make changes to its computer on the fly, whereas a mass airflow would require a custom tune. And because you don't require a tune, you don't have to worry about spending a couple hundred bucks or a couple hundred extra bucks on top of this in order to make it work properly. In this case, it's a simple direct bolt on and go. Now the last point I want to make on tuning is if you do want to maximize the potential of the cold air intake, a tune is definitely, definitely a good option. Not required, however, that's kind of the point I'm trying to make here. So if you have the couple extra bucks and you really want to maximize the potential, go ahead and pick up a tune. But if not, then it's really not something you have to worry about. You will see performance gains and benefits from this particular option. As far as the actual performance gains, you can expect single digit numbers as far as horsepower and torque is concerned. What you can really expect is a better engine sound and overall better airflow coming into the manifold. And most importantly, a improved throttle response, something you might be feeling in the pedal there just to give you that little oomph to get through the line. Now again, not something with crazy world changing benefits as far as horsepower and torque, but you can expect single digit gains at best. So one thing I do want to point out here is that it is 50 state legal, so it is great for the 3.5 liter EcoBoost owner out there in California or emissions restrictive states like that. However, if you have any other engine other than the 2.7 or 3.5 EcoBoost, unfortunately this kit is not going to be 50 state legal, so keep that in mind moving forward. So again, one of the best things about this kit here is actually going to be this reusable and oiled filter from Roush. Now Roush is a huge name in the aftermarket world, especially when it comes to cold air intake kits because they have a very specific way of manufacturing these to be better than the factory option as well as a lot of the other options on the market as far as aftermarket brands are concerned. Now this Roush filter is made from a high quality cotton gauze and they have their own specific process, I won't bore you with the details, in order to make this happen. Now this is actually again washable, reusable, so when it comes time to actually replace this you won't actually have to worry about picking up a new one, just pop the old thing out, give it a good washing, re-oil it with specific air filter oil and pop it right back on and it's good as new. So in addition to the six inch conical air filter with the high quality cotton gauze for superior filtration, you're getting the injection molded polypropylene with all the other tubing and materials here. Something that is built for long lasting durability and heat resistance as well because we all know under the hood can reach pretty extreme temperatures. So this particular option, if you are interested in the Roush cold air intake kit, you can pick one up for yourself for just shy of the $300 mark, something that really isn't too bad in my personal opinion, falls right in the middle of the pack as far as the 3.5 engines are concerned. If you want to spend a little bit more, you can get a little bit more tubing in some cases, but this particular option, again, in my personal opinion, offers everything you need to get the throttle response up in comparison to the stock option, it offers a really good high quality filter, some really good materials for the tubing, and a huge and effective air box. Now as far as the installation is concerned, something you can get done in about 30 minutes or so in your own driveway at home with very simple hand tools. All you'll need is a ratchet and very simple socket set, and a flathead screwdriver will get the job done as well. 
Overall, it will get a 1 out of 3 wrenches on our difficulty meter, making this one of the easier mods you can do to your EcoBoost engine. So to kick things off, to give you a brief overview here, since it is such a quick install, all you'd have to do is remove your factory airbox system by using a flathead screwdriver to unclamp all of the necessary hardware. Unclamping everything like the filter from the airbox, the airbox from the tubing, all of that will come directly off of the engine in a matter of minutes. Once you have everything unclamped and unbolted, you can toss that off to the side because all new hardware is going to be used coming from the Roush kit out of the box. From there, just reinstall everything in the exact reverse order, clamping everything down using the couplers where necessary, again, all included for you in the kit. Once everything's tightened down, throw the airbox over the filter and you're good to go. Overall, like I said, about 30 minutes or so in the driveway at home, one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Just to wrap things up here, if you're the owner of a 2015 or newer 3.5 liter EcoBoost F-150, you might be interested in swapping out the factory airbox for a new upgraded aftermarket kit from a well-known brand in order to up that throttle response, engine sound, and of course pick up a few horsepower. You might want to check out the Roush Cold Air Intake Kit, which is available right here at AmericanMuscle.com.